today by very popular demand. I demand it, and right now, Commodore Stone, right now. Do you guys have asked that I react to Family Guy episodes featuring Irish Ness Ness? Most of these are going to be brand new to me. I have seen a couple of them, but nothing stands out to me the way the Leprechaun and the Simpsons version did. Going with your suggestions for subscription curses, today I'm gonna suggest you subscribe. Otherwise, you will be cursed with a dog who's a bad boy. A bad, bad boy. You're a good boy. Don't worry, a very good boy. Is your tail wagging? Oh my God, <laughs> it's so fresh. So subscribe. In other news, I did find my headphones, so thank you to everybody who prayed to St. Anthony to help me. Uh, they were where I had left them. Let's watch some Family Guy! And, and, and Chris starts in with all this yo-yo-yo stuff, and I, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. So I started beating him with a hose, and then my arm got tied, and so I came here. Peter, perhaps Chris has adopted another culture's mannerisms because he doesn't know enough about his own. Oh, gee, I never thought of that. Hey, you know, I should teach Chris about his Irish roots. Besides, we haven't spent any time I together didn't know since we played Peter Operation. Was Irish. I'm going for the funny bone, Dad. Oh, you touched the sides. Oh, jeez, he's waking up. Quick, let's get him back to the bus station. Oh, my God. I want to be chilling with my homie. Now, Chris, it's important you learn about your Irish heritage. Chilling with his homies. Yeah, no, he's definitely Irish. He can't pull that off. A day in the life of an Irish man. See, that wouldn't happen because that Irish man appeared to be drinking beer and it's whiskey that makes men a little bit angry in my personal opinion. It's not just Irish men either. Whiskey just makes men very angry. A day in the life of an Irish woman. Ancient archaeological thing. evidence indicates that Ireland was a much different place before the discovery of alcohol. Most experts believe I've it was it. something like this. Gentlemen, today we Ireland's top scientists have found a way to convert our entire population to pure energy. Oh, oh, it's a glorious day. Day. glorious. Hey, Michael McLeod's just invented a new kind of beverage in his basement. Hmm. Whiskey. Mm. 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 Yeah, the Irish probably would be very productive without alcohol. We're very creative. And for such a tiny country, we have so many amazing artists out there, musicians and actors. Imagine how many more we'd have without alcohol. 25. That's how high I can count. We've been here for three hours. I'm scared, Dad. What's gonna happen to us? Well, he's a Nazi, Chris. If I had to guess, I'd say he's gonna make us into a lampshade or a wallet or a bar of soap. I guess that means I'll be Irish Spring. Irish Spring will get you fresh and <whistles> clean as a whistle. See? Ah! You cut me! Why? What is that possibly supposed to show the consumer? There's more soap inside the soap. They know that! Okay, Irish spring soap. Some of you guys have sent me Irish spring soap. I have it ready to go for a video. I messaged the guy who was the Irish spring soap guy who, I know his brother, so I thought maybe we'd get an in with that. I thought it'd be cool to feature him in the video, but um, he hasn't responded twice, so. I'd like to do an Irish spring soap video if you have any suggestions as to what I could do with the soap. I believe I have a suggestion. Wash my hands repeatedly for 10 minutes. Top class entertainment. Somebody suggested I could actually carve stuff with the Irish spring soap, but I foresee that going poorly. Oh my God, there's Ugh. blood everywhere. You're the one who's always cooking Brussels sprouts and broccoli. It's like an Irish bar fight down there. You're from one town over, so I hate your guts. <laughs> Okay, that one was brief, but um, yeah, that's pretty accurate actually, to be honest. People fall out with each other because they're like living in different towns and they're literally right beside each other. Ireland is so small, but you're like, oh, we hate those people from there. But like, it's right around the corner from you. People will just fight about anything. I hate broccoli. 
Welcome to Ireland. We'll be landing in five minutes. They got the color this right. Is quite a country, that's Brian. What is you know, Ireland has more drunks per capita is. than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. No, we do. Uh, excuse me, is this McSwiggin village? Uh, Dibble a man who say a word again, hmm? Is that a yes or a no? Aye, it is McSwiggin village, where the hills are green, the streams are clear, and the sweaters are so thick, even the boniest fingered nun could poke you in the chest and it wouldn't bother you none. Don't be so bold with your dark hair and your proud ways. I can't feel a thing. Actually, if you've ever worn one of those Aran sweaters, they are so freaking thick, but you do not want to be caught in one on a very hot day. They are very warm, like very warm. Also, I know this is very pedantic, but I couldn't help noticing that village looked nothing like an Irish village, especially one in the countryside. In the countryside, the houses will be far apart with loads of land, whereas in that picture, they were like all close together. I know it's a cartoon, but I'm just saying, that's not accurate. <laughs> I'm here to react, okay? That's what I noticed. It's not accurate. Man, what are those guys doing? Ah, those are the McMurphy brothers. They've been circling that same spot for 50 years, just daring each other to throw the first punch. Just you try it. Oh, I'll try it. Just you try it. You'll feel it when I try it. I'd like to see you have at it. Would you now? This is true. You can't throw the first punch. If you're a man of honor, you have to let the other fella throw the first punch because then you're just responding. So, yeah, I can see that happening in a caricature way. Uh, excuse me, sir? My name is Peter. Pleased to meet you, lad. Name's Mickey. Listen, um, this may be hard for you to believe, but you're my father. Who am I now? Yeah, I came all the way from America to find you. I suppose it's money you're wanting. I owe you some allowance and so forth. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want money. I just want to get to know you and be friends so I can finally have a real dad who loves and respects me. You can't be me, son. You and me are nothing alike. Just ask me sheep, O'Brien. Whose leg do you have to hump to get a pint of Guinness around here? Boy, it's amazing, isn't it? You get two fathers, and neither one of them wants anything to do with you. There's got to be Thanks. some way I can make him see that I'm worthy of being his son. Aren't the only way I could ever impress him is if I was a fat, stinking drunk. Peter, you are a fat, stinking drunk. What? You're a fat, stinking drunk. Yes, from what Yoda. he's told us, that's right on the money. Challenge him, you must. And I'm Obi Hayden Christensen. And... Wait a minute, Brian, that's it. I'm a fat, stinking drunk because my father is a fat, stinking drunk. And I gotta prove it to him. I have gotta drink him so far under the table, he'll have no choice but to respect me. Get me a beer, Brian. I am gonna prepare for this as thoroughly as Ben Affleck prepares for a role. Whoa, I gotta be Henry VIII in 20 minutes. Hello, 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 hello. Got it. Okay. I will say that you will earn respect in Ireland if you can hold your alcohol. Mickey McFinnigan, I challenge you to a drinking contest. <gasps> ha! And what makes you think you can hold your own with the likes of me? Because I'm your son and I'm tough. I made it halfway through failure to launch. I just never managed to get my life together. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> You're cute. Done. Yeah, that film sucked. As we say in Ireland, let's drink until the alcohol in our system destroys our livers and kills us. I got 20 on the fat one. Which, Which one's, one's the, the fat, fat one? one. <laughs> 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 Oh. Uh, 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 what happened? Peter, you won. My God. 
Nobody's ever beat me at the game of drink. Now do you believe that you're my dad? Nobody but a McFinnigan could handle that much of the creature. You're the broth of me own stubby shillelagh, all right? Welcome to me family, Peter. You hear that, Brian? I'm a McFinnigan now. I can forget all about Francis. You know, there's something you should always remember, Peter. Francis may not have been your father, but he raised you as if you were his own. And if that isn't love, I don't know what is. Wow, I guess you're right. But there is one thing, Mickey. You knocked up my mom and never called her again. Yeah, so what? So what? So let's dance! Oh, he doesn't... I'm sensing a song coming on. I can't play that on this channel, according to the editor. So I'm going to guess how the song goes with the lyrics. Enjoy. Oh, he doesn't smell like Irish Spring. He never taught me anything. But I'll slap my chest and sing of my drunken Irish dad. Oh, his face like a railroad map. And he never shuts his freaking track. But all the ladies catch the drop from your drunken Irish dad. Ask a Hennessy, Tennessee, Morris, and Shaughnessy, Reardon, and Rooney. They'll tell you the same McNulty, Rooney, and Cotter, and Clooney. All feel the same mixture of pride and shame. Finnegan, Hannigan, Kelly, and Flanagan look to the ground when their dad passes. Cafferty, Rafferty, Joyce, and Flafferty. Fight for his honour and then start to cry. Then there's a dance sequence. This'll be it. Oh, lots of punching. Very Irish. We Irish lads are all infirm and our moods infect us like a germ because we're all the spawn of a pickled sperm. And we don't tan well either from a drunken Irish dad. Thank you. The album will be coming out soon. That tan line's very accurate. Well, there you go, that was all the Irish scenes that I could find. I had no idea Peter's dad was Irish. I didn't know Peter was Irish. Peter's a cartoon, what are you talking about, Diane? He's not a real person. I'm very invested in Family Guy. I wanna say a massive shout out to the Karmic Goals crew over on Patreon. Some of them you see very regularly in the comments here, some of them not so much, but either way, they are stand up lovely human beings and I wanna thank them so much for everything they've done for the channel. As I mentioned earlier in the week, they have made the equipment better. They have made the audio, the visuals, everything better. So thank you so much to each and every one of them. And if you see them in the comments, say boop. That's it for today's list. Feel free to engage with one another in a respectful way and I'll see you on the other side, bye. That was the worst clap ever. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, that is so cute. I hope the camera can see. Oh, it can, oh. Yay! No, stay! Good boy. Oh, thank you. Hennessy, Tennessee, Morris, and Shocknessy, Reardon, and Rooney. McNulty, and Mulrooney, and Cotter, and Clooney. I don't know any Irish Cloonies. It is an Irish name, but I don't know anybody called Clooney. Finnegan, Hannigan, Kelly, and Flanagan, Cafferty, Rafferty, Joyce, and O'Lafferty. I know all those people. We're probably related.